Hello everybody, my name's Funk McLovin. This is gonna be a different sort of video. Uh, I'm gonna put all these tracks on Bandcamp, but I wanted to put them on YouTube with some commentary. So here they are. This is for a project that is based roughly around the uh, Midnight Crew of the Homestuck. And I wanted to talk a little bit about my production process because uh, some people have asked before in the comments. The first track is not one of the produced tracks. It is just a motif that I came up with that I thought fit the Midnight Crew pretty well. What it is is uh, a melody based around the uh, F minor blues scale. Uh, I think the blues scale is very fitting for like sort of film noir and stuff, especially when you emphasize the uh, third and the tritone um, of that scale. If you don't know music, then just they're, they're, they're spooky intervals. Uh, but yeah, here's the motif. <laughs> The motif was then used to extrapolate a main theme. This is the main theme. You can hear the motif got used in the foreground and background of different parts. Uh, the drum line was pretty standard. I think it might have been even a default pattern, um, like a loop. And then uh, other things I used were like, you know, strings and other sort of noir style instruments with a heavy emphasis on uh, piano as well as woodwinds. The effect that I used at the beginning was isotope vinyl, which is free, and it's also something I use quite a bit. Something cool about the uh, blues scale that I used was that it fits over a lot of chord progressions as long as they stay within the minor key with some exceptions. And that one was, the, the chord progression there was basically just like um, two different chords, the one to the five. And so it was very easy to layer that motif on top. Um, but I also used something that I really like, which is the, uh, instead of the um, normal sevenths, I used the minor scale or the minor chord with a major seventh over it. That creates a cool like do 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 sound. It's very ominous and mysterious, very film noir. I really like it. The next piece is the pause screen music, which is just the main menu theme uh, with a little simplification, as well as um, the isotope vinyl over it for the whole time instead of just at the beginning.
So that one was, uh, did not use the main motif because I wanted to make it a little less based on a minor scale and more based on uh, something calming, and I instead used the major scale for this. This one is a duet between a muted trumpet and a vibraphone. I wanted to evoke something like MTT Resort and Undertale or like Elevator Stuck. Uh, I really love that vibraphone sound, especially the one, um, I believe that's a Harmer plug-in sound. It's very robust, very good. The native echo that they use on that, the default one, is just honestly wonderful. I really like the sound. Um, yeah, that that one's just cute. It has a little bit of casino ambiance in the background. Um, it ends a little abruptly because it's meant to loop. Um, if any of these end abruptly, that's why they're meant to loop in a video game. Um, I really like this one. It genuinely chills me out. Uh, I love the vibe of it. Yeah. So this final song, which was supposed to be the end credits theme, was supposed to be sort of a blowout of every theme in the thing. I did not make all the tracks in this uh, video game. There were also collaborations, so these four tracks were not the only tracks. Um, the end credits, I used the motif, but I also did like some solo stuff. Uh, there are some live instruments in this. The guitar is live. The whistling is live. Uh, I like the the sound of this one. It's a little bit rougher around the edges, but in a in a, in a little bit of a fun way, like a crunchy, nice way. Like it feels like an actual ensemble might be playing it. Um, I really like this one. I feel like it's a very complete piece. It's probably my favorite one that I made for this project. But the part that I like the most is sort of the extended bass solo that goes on later on. And I also love the ending. You'll see the ending. So the ending there, this song, this track actually had an ending because this was not meant to loop. This was supposed to go over end credits. Um, I think that the end, it wasn't long enough, so I might have had to extend some part of it. Uh, but I like it as it is. Um, but the ending part is a, I will say cliche, and I'm saying cliche not in the it's overused way, but in the it's a 
very commonly used sort of tool in the musician's arsenal, which is the Picardy third, which is just a fancy way of saying ending on the the one major in a minor key. So you kind of heard how that last um, chord was very triumphant compared to everything else, and that's because that is the major um, that is a major chord where it should have been a minor chord otherwise. It makes it feel very complete and satisfied, even in a, a minor thing. But yeah, that's my that that is a little bit of insight into my process a little bit. Some of the tools I use both in music theory as well as like production stuff. I'm far from an expert on any of this. Um, so, you know, if you have any specific questions, I might make a, make a video about it later. I just really enjoy going through my own stuff and explaining what the fuck I did because uh, that's just fun. And um, I would highly recommend it for any of your work if you do any artistic stuff. And uh, to anyone still listening to this absolute fucking dog shit drivel that I'm spewing from my mouth holes right now, thank you very much. Uh, it's been a wonderful Halloween month. So thanks for coming out to the old Funk McLovin YouTube channel. See you guys later.